Hey there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. Today I want to talk to you about limitations. So I've just been on a run um, and I know that my mentor, um, I have my own business and my mentor, whose name is Bella, he says to me that when he goes running he gets into a kind of trance state and things start coming towards him, thoughts start coming to him, that he wouldn't have um, in normal conscious mode and I was thinking about this because listening to Earl Nightingale's The Stranger Secret which I will um, add on to the end of this video and um, I'll put um, a link to my motivational videos I'm not sure which one will play but it is in there Earl Nightingale and in his uh, in his video in his speech The Stranger Secret he said it's a realisation that your limitations are self-imposed. Now I did a video recently where I talked about how I never realised how limiting my mindset was. And I know that when I go on a run, um, I only do about 10 minutes, but I feel different inside. I feel a lot more powerful as if I could do absolutely anything I set my mind to. Um, and so all of a sudden when you're in that state you start realising the limitations that you do have. For example, I've just literally put uh, an empty cereal box, I've um, you know, collapsed it and I've put it in the recycling and then I've gone. I wonder what I've done that for. Now I do believe in recycling so that's why I've done it. But also I am actually conforming subconsciously to what society has told me I should do that is actually playing a role. I think it's me, but actually that is playing a role as well. Um, even something like brushing your teeth. You know, well why did you brush your teeth? Well, I was taught to brush my teeth. I brush my teeth because I don't want to get tooth decay. In the time of Elizabeth I, sugar was all the rage, you know, and to have black teeth and to have bad teeth was all the rage. and. You know, the wealthy people were blacking out their teeth with coal and probably other such substances um, because that was the fashion, you know, they, they wanted to look like they had bad teeth. Um, so they were conforming even though, you know, years on we realised that actually that wasn't a sensible thing to do at all, that's what they knew at the time and um, it was such a great, you know, rage or uh, fashion of society. That, that they conformed. Um, so yeah, that was just my thought of today and I really find it interesting and when we talk about sort of limitations, I was always told that you are the product of the five closest people to you and I remember watching um, a webinar quite recently again in my business by a lady called Danielle Wilson and she said that you know when she started the five people around her were just the five people around her you know and I was thinking well yeah that's that's me that's where I am but I like to listen to a lot of, of motivational speeches all I do is I get them for free on YouTube I just download them and put them on my mp3 player I can listen to them in the car when I'm running uh, I can listen to them at, in work you know um, so and the more I listen to them, the more I am coming to realise um, a different way of thinking. Um, and I have noticed that they are starting to change my mindset the more I listen to them. Because I do realise how self-imposing I am on myself. And you know, the biggest enemy, they say, is yourself and it's so true. But we do it so subconsciously because of the way that we've been brought up because we are surrounded by it, um, you know, usually every waking hour, um, that we don't even stop to consider, you know, if there's another way. Um, so that's just my thought of today. Um, and just one question I want you to go away with and think about is, as 2019 continues to come towards you, what one limiting factor have you imposed on yourself that you need to remove this year to live your best life? 
what one limiting factor do you perhaps need some help with? Do you perhaps need to go down to the library and get a free book on? Do you perhaps need to type into Google? Do you perhaps need to ask a friend about? Do you perhaps need to call somebody about? And it might be linked to an assumption. Maybe you've assumed that something can't happen because something or somebody feels a certain way. Is that true? Have you checked your facts? Um, I, I know for me certainly um, in 2018, you know, my life changed because I started a business and I have always, you know, I, I have never even, it's never even entered my periphery that I could ever, ever run a business. And I was speaking to a friend last night and she has an eBay business and she's been doing this two and a half coming on to three years and she confessed to me that she sometimes has days where she you know she looks at herself and she says oh I'm not a business owner I haven't got the right stuff it's it's not me you know and we were talking about this and then she said it's so ironic because the truth is that I am running a business you know I'm telling myself that it's not me and that I can't do it and yet I'm in the midst of actually doing it um, so you know there we go, that just proves how, how accurate your mind can be when it sets such limitations. And, um, you know, all these wonderful people that we admire and who are successful, they weren't born that way. You know, Madonna used to eat out of trash cans, apparently. Um, Les Brown, the great speaker, he was adopted at six weeks old. He was one of, I think, six children adopted by a single lady who works, you know, manual jobs, cleaning and things like that. Um, <coughs> I certainly wasn't brought into an affluent family, um, you know, even people like Richard Branson, he, his first company was selling records on the cheap, um, importing them from other countries and selling them on the cheap, um, and, you know, his family didn't have money, his parents, you know, one venture, I think, fell through and his family had to remortgage the home to support him, it's not like they had money on standby, it's not like he was born to parents who, you know, were massive entrepreneurs. Um, so I just want you to think about that. Um, and if you would be interested in these sorts of things, if you would be interested in personal development, I do just want to remind you that there is a link um, to my website, pipweekly.com. Um, we are, until the end of January, running a um, the seven day video series, you've probably heard of them already, if you haven't then um, basically there is a link on there and you can get access to seven videos, one that we will release every day to you and um, that will come from the founders Stuart and Jay that have helped me change my life and are continuing to help me change my life um, through the business model that they've created uh, and you know have successfully tried out and are now very successful with it um, and I just want you to have a look at that and um, click on the link, all you, we need is an email address because we need to be able to send it to somewhere so that you can see it um, and don't tell yourself no before you've begun as I say I, I never thought of myself as a business person, I'm very introverted quite shy by nature, I've never studied business in my life, I'm not a financially orientated person, I don't have a degree um, and I have no intention of getting one um, and yet here I am running my own business, starting my own business, making the changes, making the mental changes to discover who I am, learning about myself, learning about what I think about myself, learning about what could be possible for me getting help from people who are just a few steps ahead, getting help from people who have been there and who are, you know, have made it work and have been through the obstacles. Um, so click on there and, you know, if it's not for you, that's fine. The video's for free. Get to the end of the seven days. It's not for you, just unsubscribe. It's, it's fine. Now, this is your future, but let me tell you, you have got some awesome stuff coming to you if you allow it to. So. As always, feel free to comment below. I will be massively excited. Feel free to subscribe 
subscribe, subscribe and hit the um, hit that bell and hit the bell for the notifications. We do try and release a video every single uh, week, usually, obviously every day in December. And uh, until next time, you take care. Bye now.